Good. Well, Xavier, I'll start off here. I mean, yeah. yesterday, Coach was uh, asked about what he thought this team's identity was six yeah. games in the season. I kind of want to get your take on that and see what you think the identity is right now. Again, identity, I think we're excited to get out there every day. Um, you know, I think the complacency is out the window. Uh, I think we got a lot of guys that are hungry to get out on the field and put in work. And like again, this week the whole uh, main point was strike and attack, and I think that's a, a big part of our identity. So you say complacency is out of the window. Was there? Are you talk about the Missouri game. Are you talk about some other kind of. No, I'm just talking about or? starting the season um, okay. and just making sure complacency wasn't an issue on the team. Okay. And I think we've done a great job so far in that. Okay. Yeah. The Missouri games obviously opened up a lot. Um, in the past couple games. Can you talk about a bit of what you've seen from um, Dejan and especially with his three touchdowns in the past game? So Dejan, obviously a very, very talented back. Um, you know, I think it's great giving him, you know, seeing the opportunities that he gets and having seen him, you know, come along the past couple seasons and especially having a big start to the season this year is just awesome to see. So I think as the O-line, it's, it's our job to make holes for him and um, be a part of his success. we got to make holes and so he can keep uh, doing his thing. So the, the offense has been very versatile this year. We started off with a lot of passing, yeah. been a, little, a bit more running in the past couple games. What makes this team so versatile and, and explosive as it is? Uh, just everybody doing their part and understanding the part that they play. Um, and I think it also helps having a lot of talented players all over the field. You know, obviously that helps. And just especially having, um, you know, the brands that Todd Munkin has, um, Coach Monk up there calling the plays and, and running it. And, you know, steady quarterback and just everybody knowing their part and playing their part. Kirby was talking to a reporter from your hometown today on the teleconference, and he was saying, you know, how much of a you know transition it took, you know, time that it took for you to get used to playing this competition level. Yeah. How much was that, you know, a problem for you early on, and, and how much did you have to get used to that? Um, are you talking like like when I first got transitioning? Here? Yeah, transitioning from Rhode Island to, to Georgia. Y'all love that question, man. Y'all love hearing me with that. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I appreciate it. You know, I'm always ready for that question, but um, I obviously knew. <laughs> You know, coming here, committing here, I knew this is what I needed to become, you know, the best player I could was to come play SEC ball because, you know, nobody out of Rhode Island goes anywhere big, you know, and especially if they do, you never really hear about them going to play SEC ball. So I think that was a big opportunity for me. Um, and, you know, getting here and not getting the playing time that I wanted, you know, my freshman year, and uh, it kind of messed with my head a little bit, but I have such a support staff around me that they help me, you know, understand that it's all, it's all a part of the process. And, you know, when I'm ready to play, I'll play. And I finally kind of understood that and just worked on getting as best as I could. Now that you are getting that playing time that you want, that you are playing, yeah. you know, how, how much more comfortable have you grown in the last six games, you know, up to this point in the season? Yeah, um, you know, we have a great alarm, and I think that helps, especially having, you know, Stetson back there. And just, like I said, just having everybody around me doing their part. And if I can continue to do my part, that's, that's all that matters to me. I'm happy. I got a little bit of a different question for you. Uh, just what are your views of, of Coach Smart? And when I say that, I wonder, uh, really, yeah, it's, 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 I'm glad you laughed already. You know, uh, just your, your interactions with him, and it seems like he has a personal relationship with pretty much everybody on this team. I hear that people can text him and those yeah. kind of things. Uh, but the grind, you know, of the mm -hmm. season and the energy that he brings day to day, what's your view of, of him and, and the coaches and how they handle that uh, kind of daily obligation you guys. So I love Coach Smart, first off. Let me get that out of the way. Love, love Coach Smart to death. Um, but, you know, like you said, you can text him. He's very personal um, with individual players. And, you know, that's something I've noticed the past over the past four years is just how personal he can be. But at the same time, once we get into practice, he can flip that switch. And, you know, if he needs to light a fire under you, he can do that. And um, at the end of the day, I think that that helps, you know, the – overall camaraderie of the team and, and everybody. So I think he's just a great mentor, great coach, and a great person overall. You've had three offensive line coaches in your time here. How much has having that relationship with Kirby sort of helped foster your stability here at Georgia? A lot, a lot. Um, I think I needed it, um, which is a great thing. Um, you know, it was hard uh, my freshman year when Coach Pitt left. You know, that was the coach I originally committed to, built a strong relationship with in high school. and. You know, it kind of hurt a little bit when he left. Obviously, you know, understand he made the best decision for him. And, you know, you can see it's working out for him now, and I'm glad. But um, having the three offensive line coaches in three years, it was definitely important for me to um, have different people that I could reach out to. And I feel like Coach Smart was one of those people. I feel like um, Coach Eddie Gordon, um, he's been here since my freshman year. So even with the, the changes in the three O-line coaches, he's consistently been here. So 
um, I think that played a big part too. So, Xavier, you started in the in the bowl game against Cincinnati, and then you know didn't start the next season. Yeah. Did you have any doubt that you were going to you know hold down the starting job and, and you know be the guy six games in, week in, week out? I had no doubt. Uh, just the work that we put in um, in the spring, in the off season, um, and just you know the confidence that I built in myself. Yeah, I think that I was prepared. You know, I was. So excited going through. I went through all the emotions before the Oregon game because obviously I hadn't started a game since you know a whole season before. So um, you know it was it was hard, but I, I knew I was ready when I felt that excitement to go out there and play against Oregon. For what, sure. what have you done? Like how are you a different player now than you were a year ago? Uh, that you know you have a new coach. You had to show him that that you can play winning football. Yeah. So uh, from you know Cincinnati game till now, I think uh, a lot of different aspects of my game have changed. You know was uh, pass blocking, run blocking, controlling my nutrition better, um, you know, getting stronger in the weight room and just working on little things and um, even building connection more with my teammates and everyone, coaches and everybody, I think that all played a huge part. We talked to Cedric after the Missouri game, he said offensive line really figure some stuff out there in the fourth quarter, and then you obviously take that and run for 300 yards against Hallmark. What do you think it was in that Missouri game that sort of you guys, I don't want to say flip the switch, but started figuring things out, turning things around, and really opening up things on the ground again. Yeah, you know, I just think we uh, we focused on our identity, like I said. Um, you know, I don't like to think too much back on the Missouri game. You know, we're getting get ready to play a really talented Vanderbilt team, so um, I think we're more focused on, on, on Vandy right now. Zay, I ask you, you mentioned Eddie Gordon a while ago. Yeah. I mean, just, I know he's kind of behind the scene guys, but maybe the, the people like us, but the role he plays with the offensive line, yeah. I mean, how is, how did him and him and Coach Cyril kind of work together? Just a role that Eddie plays. What he does for you guys? Uh, he does a lot. Um, whether it's you know when Coach um, when Coach Searles has can only you know um, maybe work with so many of us at practice. It's really awesome having a guy like Eddie, uh, Coach Eddie, to be there uh, at practice because he knows all the techniques. He knows all the you know every uh, every little piece that goes into the offensive line play. And plus he's been here like you guys said under three different offensive line coaches. He's been here under Coach Smart for the past three, four years. So um, having somebody at practice, you know, a second pair of hands to help with the O-line um, that has all this knowledge and experience, you know, it only makes us that much better. He's a real personable guy, too. Oh, of course. Yeah. Eddie, yeah. Coach Eddie, yeah. he's awesome. Mm -hmm. Were you able to get home during the uh, off week? During the off week. So that's I'm actually trying to get the dates and times figured out now because i got to book my flight now before it gets too expensive. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I actually just had my, my little sisters and cousin, both my parents came this past game, so I don't know how long it's been since I've seen my sisters, probably two, two and a half, three months, so it was awesome getting to, getting to see them. So actually this bye week is both my sisters' birthdays are in October, so hopefully we get to go out, go out and eat, have something, do something special, so looking forward to it. Multiple times this season there will be a running back or a wide receiver getting tackled downfield. The entire offensive line just kind of comes and pushes them and yeah. gets a few extra yards. Mm -hmm. Is there kind of an emphasis in the offensive line room, especially with Coach Searles, to kind of get those extra yards and have an athlete play like that? Yeah, I think that that's always been a thing really here at Georgia. I think um, it's always been emphasized, but I think uh, this year just the group of guys that we have, you know, it's something that's stressed so much more and, uh, you know, it's, it's part of the game. It's part of our identity, like I said, the strike. Um, and uh, we call it cover down. So, you know, every, every, you'll hear every day, every play we have at practice, you'll hear Coach Searles and Eddie screaming, cover down, cover down, cover down. So um, eventually you get secure in it and it's just secondhand nature. So um, if we can do that every play, you know, that's, that's really our goal at the end of the day. Is that big emphasis for Searles? Because you, you just said that, you know, obviously you've had a couple different coaches and you said that that's a bigger emphasis this year than it has been in the past. Yeah, I, I think it's it's always been an emphasis, but yeah, I think Coach Searles really, um, really emphasizes it and, and tries to make it a point because um, the more we can we can do it and make that much of a difference and turn a maybe a 10 yard run into a 15, 20 yard run, you know, it's just that much uh, better for us and gives our defense that much more of a break. and. Um, Overall, yeah, I think it just it helps a lot. Time for one last question. Dave, I want to ask you about Branson Robinson real, real quick. Yeah. Everybody knows he's like he's built like the Incredible Hulk. I just wondered the first time you saw him, yeah. maybe in the weight room, kind of what was your reaction? In the weight room, man. I, you know, it was actually crazy, crazy impressive, um, you know, having to squat next to him and just work out next to him and everything, you know, because you hear all these things before you actually uh, meet the new incoming guys. and. Um, it was really impressive to see just how much he could actually do and 
just the type of person I think he is impressed me more of just how personal he is and of uh, just a great character that he has, I think was more impressive for me than anything that he does on the, on the field and in the weight room um, overall. Yeah, he's just a great guy. Thank you.